welcome to Shelter in Place Fitness Challenge. For today's fruit and vegetable idea, we're adding a little bit of protein to one of our items today. Um, we're going to do some wraps, it's simple, easy. Uh, the first wrap is all veggie with uh, white beans, um, red peppers, cucumbers, sesame seeds, a little bit of dressing, um, lemon juice, and olive oil. The next one is going to be a chicken wrap with the citrus dressing. So I've actually gone ahead and built most of the, um, the first one, which is the veggie. It's wonderful, cucumbers are in there. So what I wanna do first is because a lot of times people have trouble with the avocado, which also goes into this dish. I'm just gonna show you how to slice it like that. Gonna hit it and turn it and take it out. There you go. Scoop it out, slice it up, and there you have it. You're gonna add it into your, um, your mixture. So we have everything made up right now. And so we're gonna build the wrap. My wraps are a little bit small. You can get bigger ones because this is really, there's a lot of ingredients in here. Got a little bit of apple. We'll put it in there like that. And then I am going to add feta cheese because I like it. If you don't like the feta cheese or if you don't like this kind of cheese, you could add a little bit. It's just a sprinkle for flavor. Just a little bit to give it a little salty texture because there's not a lot of salt and pepper in this. I'm going to take it and wrap it over. This is why you want to make sure that you don't put a whole lot of stuff in there. And there you have it. There's your little wrap. You can stick a toothpick in there until you're ready to serve these. Just kind of hold on to it. The longer they sit, of course, not too long, the longer they sit, the more they're going to hold together. So just before you serve them, you pull that toothpick out and you're good to go. The next one is a wrap with citrus, chicken, and a little bit of lettuce. So what I'm going to do is the dressing first. I have fresh squeezed orange juice, this is a quarter of a cup, into the dish. I have fresh grated ginger. I always have a ginger root in my fridge because you never know when you're going to need it. I have rice vinegar. Notice how I'm measuring? That's two tablespoons. <laughs> then I have honey. This is about a teaspoon of honey. And of course, you can always add a little bit more, a little bit less. And when you don't have your honey bear, it's really hard to get it out of there. So I didn't want to show off one honey bear or the other, so I put it in my container. OK, it's going to go in there. A little salt and pepper. And the very last thing I'm going to add, and you, sometimes if you're using this, um, white pepper works better. You have to use a little bit less, but you won't be able to see it when you do it. Put it in there. So from the orange juice that I've squeezed, I've saved the, the, um, the half of the orange. Of course, I did wash the outside of this orange. You want to do that before you put your zest in there. And then I'm going to mix it up. And I will have these online. <laughs> and this one is super, super easy. We're just going to simply mix this up a little bit more. I'm going to build the wrap and then drizzle it on top. OK, so here we have chicken. Now, I use rotisserie chicken. Sometimes rotisserie chicken is a little bit higher in fat because of the cooking process. But if you're in a pinch, it's pretty easy to do. I've got a little bit of lettuce over here I'm going to throw in there. This is when a bigger wrap actually comes in handy. Then I have a little bit of carrot. Got to toss in there. Orange for flavor. This looks like an open face sandwich. <laughs> and some wonton, just for crunch. Now you can also add almond slices in there if you want to. So I'm gonna roll that up. Again, a toothpick would be great. I'm gonna just place it on my board and I'm gonna drizzle 
my citrus dressing on there. And there you have it. It's a wrap. <laughs> Hello, and welcome back to day seven. This is the exercise portion. Regan, my assistant, is going to be helping us today. We're going to do some pretty easy um, wall sits, which are just about anybody can do, and I'll show you modifications. And then we're going to do single leg step out lunges with some pulses. So Regan's going to get into position for the wall sit. You want to be in a pretty comfortable, secure position where you feel like you, you're not going to slip all the way down. And if you're feeling a little insecure about it, you just kind of raise up a little bit. Or if your knees are bothering you, you're also going to make sure that you come out of that a little bit. Never going past 90 degrees, though, in the knees. And you want to always make sure that your knees and your toes are lined up. With a wall set, it's really easy to have good placement on your knees. So it's nice to be able to keep your body in line, just as nice and tall. And then you hold that wall set. And that's basically it for a wall set. And you know, then you count to 200. <laughs> no. Count to 20. If you can hold it for 20, great. If you need to come out, then you're going to bring yourself up and out. OK? The next one are single leg step out lunges. These are stationary step out lunges. So right leg first, step out into position. Again, what he's doing is he's making sure that his knee is staying behind his toe. He's coming down. And if your knee bothers you to go down that far, same thing. You just do the modification. You just don't go down as far. OK, now let's do just the right leg and then take it out there and hold. Stationary, nice and steady. And I want you to pulse for 15. Slower. Four. The slower you go, the more intense it's going to be. Five more. I always say five more. You just have to trust me. OK, and then hold, hold, hold. Wait, OK, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're going to repeat that on the left leg. Step outs first. Mm -hmm. Great for knee strengthening, great for lower body. We got a little bit of endurance going when you do this one. Heart rate should get up a little bit. OK, now on the left side, he's going to step out and stay, and then do the pulses. If you squeeze your gluteals, it's going to really help you in this exercise. It's going to help you lift up. I didn't count. Are you counting? <laughs> Smart. <laughs> OK, good job. Nice job. So that's basically it. You do about three sets of those, shake it out, give yourself a little break if you need to. You can always come back to them. This, today, is, it's not an easy exercise, but it's pretty simple to follow. So for today's journal entry, remember, pen to paper. You've got to use your hand to write it down. If you had three wishes, what would they be? They can't be another wish. Write it down. See what you come up with and have some fun with it. Thank you very much.